guys, it's Jill with the Carefree Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really easy and delicious lasagna soup recipe. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe, like, and follow me on social media, and you can come along on our food adventure. All right, so to get started on this lasagna soup recipe, let me show you my ingredients here. Of course, we're going to start out with some minced onions. This is actually a more chopped or diced onion. It's just a regular yellow onion, and I have some minced garlic here. And this is one of the secret ingredients. It's hot Italian sausage. And this has a ton of flavor in it and it's a little bit spicy. If your family doesn't do spice at all, maybe you wanna go with like more of like a mild one. And then here are my Italian herbs and seasonings. There's oregano, basil, and parsley in there. And this is just a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I have my chicken broth, and then we have salt and pepper, Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of heavy cream. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is turn my stove on. I would do like a medium high heat. We can go pretty high here. And then into the pan, I'm going to pour just a few tablespoons of olive oil. So here goes my onion, and we want this to cook. We want to saute it. It's going to be a translucent color, kind of a see-through white, and then it will turn a light golden brown, and that's where we want it for this recipe. Recipe. All right, so our onions are just about done. Take a look. They're just starting to get that little bit of golden color on them. We're going to add our couple tablespoons of garlic. And the onion process takes probably six to seven, maybe eight minutes for the onions to turn translucent and then get that little bit of golden color. And we're going to saute this garlic here for probably about two minutes so it has a chance to cook. All right, now we have our sausage. And I'm going to put that in. It'll come out there. And it's kind of in a big hunk. And sometimes when you cook sausage, it stays kind of in bigger chunks. So one thing that works really well is to put a little bit of water on it. And then it's much easier to break up so that there's smaller chunks as you're cooking it. Just keep on using your spoon here to break it all up while it cooks. All right, here's our sausage with the water in it, and you don't need to worry about straining the water out. This water will just soak into the sausage and then kind of evaporate as this cooks. We're just gonna go ahead and cook this until there is no longer pink in the sausage. I hope you can see this all right. So all of the pink is gone out of our sausage, and for sure, if you didn't wanna use all sausage, you could use half ground beef, half sausage, or you could even use all ground beef. The Italian sausage adds so much flavor though, so I don't know if I'd really skip that part. At least do like half beef and half sausage on this one. Now we are going to add our Italian seasonings and some salt and pepper. It's gonna be so good. And then our crushed tomatoes. And this is the 28 ounce. So put that right in. Along with six cups of broth. So I'm going to add, that's two cups. And then here is four more. So we can stir that up a little bit. And then for the pasta, this is the pasta I'm using. You can definitely use some bow tie pasta or whatever your favorite is. This is a three cheese tortellini pasta and makes the best lasagna soup. All right, so the soup has come to a boil. It looks pretty good here. I'm gonna add my tortellini pasta in there and cook for another seven minutes. And then it's almost done. All right, our soup is almost done. The tortellini has been boiling for about seven minutes and we just have a couple more ingredients and then our lasagna soup is done. We just have about a half a cup of heavy cream to make it nice and thick and creamy and then about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And then we'll just stir this up until it's nice and creamy. And then there's a couple more things we'll do to um, get that nice final touch to make it extra cheesy and delicious. All right, here's her super easy lasagna soup, and it only takes about 30 minutes to throw together. There's big chunks of meat and some onions in there, and of course, the cheese tortellini. So delicious, and then like a light cream sauce. We add a little bit of cream to make it nice and rich. So delicious. 
All right, and then to finish it off, we are going to add some ricotta cheese. Just a nice scoop full of that. And then some mozzarella cheese. And then of course, just a little bit of parsley. Mix up all that yummy ricotta cheese and melt a little bit of that mozzarella cheese. Serve this up with some crusty French bread, maybe some garlic bread, or add some more vegetables into it, whatever your family loves. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode at the Carefree Kitchen. If you want more details, I actually have a recipe card you can print out. Just click in the link in the description box. It'll take you right to my site and you can just jump to the recipe and then print it and voila, you have all the directions you need to make this easy and delicious lasagna soup. I hope your family enjoys this as much as we do. Also, if you make it, be sure to tag me and let me know how it went. I would love to know. I hope your family enjoys this as much as we do and we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye. This soup has all the flavors that we love. It has some spicy sausage, some tortellini pasta, some brothy tomato soup base. So delicious.